Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Virgo. You got the moon reversed. What's up with that? Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm going to shuffle while I speak. For those of you who have been hanging out for a minute, you know the drill. For those of you who might be new here, go ahead and look in the description box of this video to see all the disclaimers, the directions, all that happy jazz. You know, time is fluid, all things can and maybe vice versa. This may or may not be your reading. If it resonates, it's your responsibility to do whatever you choose to do. But, you know, understand that Fire Sign Tarot holds no liability if you screw up your life because you listen to a tarot reading. Anyway, um, all that good stuff. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, that's down in the description box, too. Where else you can find us on social media. I'm just going to keep throwing down cards. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Get the energy of the person you're dealing with. Then I'll tip down. Oh, hi. Made a wand reversed. Wow. Trues came out and they got quiet. Okay. As the story unfolds, okay, a lot of indecisive energy over here, a lot of indecisive energy. They're like the cat's meow, but you can't make a decision. There's something here you can't let go of. talking things aren't moving forward judgment so oh, the card of resurrection can this be resurrected I knew this would be hanging out for a minute all right Two of Pentacles reversed. Indecisive energy. It's like, okay, so does the good aspects outweigh the bad aspects of this? That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here? Six of Pentacles. of cups. Does the good outweigh the bad? All right. What you feel about them as the king of pentacles? Talk to me about this king of pentacles.
Seven of Wands reversed. Hmm. I mean, yeah, in a lot of ways, the cat's meow. That's the dude you marry. He's stable. He's solid. Probably good looking. I mean, okay. There's a dude on the card. If you're not dealing with a dude, just insert whatever gender pronoun works for you, okay? Just work with me here. Seven of Wands reversed and strength. There's an oppressive energy coming off of that. This brings us back to just the good outweigh the bad. Okay. I think the question here is, does this leave me emotionally fulfilled? Yes, they're a provider, but there's a sense of sadness here, and I, I, it feels very oppressive. Talk to me about this Ace of Pentacles for what you think of them. Talk to me about... The Ace of Pentacles for what Virgo thinks of the person they're dealing with. Justice. Mm, the slow growing seed, so much potential. But there's justice only shows up when there's been an injustice or there is an imbalance in a situation. One more. The Hermit and the Page of Wands. Slow moving, slow going. Internalization, analyzation, also the card of Virgo. Why is the page of wands here? Empress reversed. I feel like this has a lot to do with the speed at which things are moving. Lack of forward movement. Realities is the situation. Lack of growth. The potential is there, but something's stunting it. Like, if something doesn't get cut off to balance these scales, it's not going to grow. something to do with how they feel about you. The Queen of Swords is somebody who would get something done. Just throwing that out there. And she's the by any means necessary queen. Let's talk it out. What's the problem? What do we need to cut out to make this move? Let me talk about this two of wands first though. Why the two of wands reversed for Virgo's intended actions toward the person they are dealing with? Hanged man. Stuck.
It has to move or it has to end. You're stuck. You don't want to be stuck. Change has to happen. Something here has to die for something else to be reborn. A cycle has to come to an end for something else can come to a beginning. There's negative energy here. One on temperance reversed. Page of cups reversed. It's the withholding of that cup. Or the rejecting of a cup is what's in your cup going to be enough I feel like there's oppression in that cup I feel like it's not always happy before we get to the conclusion Hold on. Hold on. Talk to me about temperance. Lovers. <sighs> Things are flowing, but there's a choice to be made. It could be a, a Sagittarius or a Gemini you're dealing with. Water, air. Oh, no, water and air. <laughs> a little bit of fire. Eight of Wands just happens to be a Sagittarius card as well. Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords reversed. There's a choice to be made. Yes. There's a rainbow. But there had to be a storm for that rainbow to show up. I don't think the storm's over for somebody. I think somebody's still very much... Just looking at the dark clouds. Release of the burden, but this pain doesn't end. All right, how do they feel about you? Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords. She showed up again. Guarded speaks truth when it's convenient. That's not nice. That's not nice. King of Swords. Okay. Very logical. Logic, logic, logic. Logic and truth. I want to be your 10th cup. Something left behind. One of the seven of swords. Something left behind. Something not being said. Something, be something not being said. Page of swords reversed. There's secrets. They want to be your 10th cup. But they feel like there's something you're not saying. Something you're not communicating. Keeping it under your hat. You want the truth from them, but you're not speaking yours. Why is the Queen of Swords here for what they think of you? That's a whole lot of information. Very guarded. Stalling, it's an energy of stalling. 
by the Three of Cups. Ten of Cups reversed. They feel like you're stalling. They think you're stalling. Not communicating things. Not communicating things that need to be communicated. You're a great communicator when you're the one who wants to be communicated with. It's the things you're not communicating. I'm getting a sense for some of you but that they think you just want to be friends. Like, I don't want to be in the doghouse with you. All right, four of swords reversed. There's a restless energy. Ace of swords reversed, oh boy. Two of pentacles reversed. I feel like you're about to get called out, Virgo. I feel like you're gonna get called out. Ace of pentacles reversed. Or of sort. You're you're about to get told what time it is. Um, they either this is gonna start or it isn't. There, you're gonna be straight up told you need to make up your mind, or something's gonna get laid to rest. You're about to get told what time it is. And I feel like this conversation may get extremely heated. Something's got to move. Something's got to end. I don't know if I want your cup. Either you make a decision or this isn't going to start. And there's potential here. You both see the potential. You do. But it's that juggling of the pentacles. Does the good outweigh the bad? Do the positive aspects of what this has the potential to become, the more you learn, all right, Eight of Pentacles. Talk to me about this Eight of Pentacles. All right, one last go. Possibly one last go. Continuing to work on it. Keeping your walls up. Queen of Cups reverse, dog on it. Working on it but not being all in. Why the Queen of Cups reversed? Nine of Cups. Okay, I feel like... You are so terrified. It's like some of you are afraid to get emotionally attached to this. Because you can't make up your mind. Alright, Page of Cups. Why the Page of Cups? I feel like this is the only other reading I'm... Did Pisces earlier. Virgo, I think you're going to be my second reading for the day. I think I need to be done because this is very draining. We'll see what I can accomplish later this evening. The moon. Wow. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They don't know where this is going to go either. All they know is they want to be your 10th cup. And they're losing patience very quickly.
they want to give you that offer. They want to give you that pinnacle, but they want to move slow. And you're just like, either this is going to move or it's not. Virgo, I hate to see this. Uh, I really hate to say this. This is so mixed up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Some of you may have options. Some of you are possibly having a hard time disconnecting from something else. And it may not even be a person. It may just be something that's tied to your past. Something that shaped this. And this is so... Okay. I feel like somebody carried baggage from a past relationship and that's why that there's that air of hesitation. And sometimes, specifically, when we're trying to resurrect an old relationship and habits don't change, I don't know, Virgo, this is... This just got very intense very quick. I feel like this is the last reading I'm going to be able to do today. Let's get a wisdom. Let's, let's get a wisdom. There's potential here, but I don't know. Definitely potential here. But I feel like things need to be laid to rest. Okay, wisdom. To be fair, really? Okay. Three plus eight is eleven. Hmm. One plus one is two. Thirty-eight. Choices, choices, choices. Number thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. I need thirty-eight. <laughs> Balance, justice, and need to consider options. Mutual benefit. The law of cause and effect. Oh boy, here we go. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet, over time, they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis, to doing. From discovering, to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment, and you will see how the universe helps, how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Okay, Virgo. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Take care. I send you off with peace, love, and light. Have one hell of a march. And I will see you next time, whatever next time may be. Take care.